In this video, I show you how to fix an OBS black screen. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and hit that subscribe button. And once you have done that, please go and consider leaving a like as well. I really do appreciate it. So within this guide, I'm showing you the four steps of going and fixing a black screen on OBS, but you can't go and capture your display. So without any further ado, let's go and get into this. Now let's go and continue with this guide. So if you're in OBS with a black screen, I want to go and show you how to fix this. So the first thing you want to do is make sure you go and add your display capture. So you go and click the plus down here, and then you want to simply go and click on display capture, and then you want to go and click create new, click OK, and then you can go and choose to display. Now, if you're getting a black screen, I'm going to go and show you how to fix this. Even though the issue doesn't apply to me, I'm still going to go and show you how to do it. Um, and this is going to work regardless. So all you want to do is simply go and close off OBS just like so. And then all you want to do is come to your desktop. And what you want to do is simply go and right click just like so. And you want to go and click on display setting. Then it's going to go and take a minute to load and you'll be taken to your display options. As you can see, I've got your, your monitors here. I've got two. Then you want to simply scroll down until you go and see graphics settings. Go and click here and then it's going to go and take you here. So this is actually about your graphics performance preference, which sounds a bit random, but this is actually going to go and allow us to go and fix the OBS black screen issue. So what you want to do is simply go and make sure desktop app is selected. I think I had to change this from Microsoft to so make sure you've got desktop app selected. So go and click on browse just like so. And what you need to do is find OBS. So when you first start, you're going to be on this PC. Then what you want to do is go and find where OBS is saved. So by default, it's going to be in your local disk. So click here and then you want to go and click on program files. And then you want to scroll down until you can see OBS. So OBS studio, click here, then go to bin. Then go to 64-bit and then you can come and click on OBS64.exe, click here once and then go to the bottom and go and click add. Then as you can see, here we go. Then all we want to do is once you've gone and selected OBS, you want to go and click on options. So as you can see, you're going to have these graphics preference. Now everyone's is going to look a bit different depending on your graphics card and your processor. Now some people are going to have Intel here and then your GPU. Now what you want to do is, is click try both of these. For some people, clicking the Intel version is going to work. For other people, it's going to be selecting their GPU, which could be NVIDIA or it could be a Radeon card. So what you want to do is try either of these. So a lot of people on a laptop um, may need to go and select Intel or they need to go and select their graphics card. But this is going to go and fix it. You're going to have to go and try either of these, either power saving or high performance. And to test it, of course, all you need to do is go and open up OBS and then go back to your display capture. And you'll need to restart OBS each time after changing this setting as well to make sure it fully loads in your new edition. Um, and that is how you go and fix it. Um, and then OBS is no longer going to have a black screen and it's going to look something like this with your desktop just like so. Of course, mine is currently working um, because I don't have the issue, but that's going to go and fix yours. If you found this guide useful, please go down below and hit the subscribe button. Leave a like for more. I look forward to catching you in the next one. Peace.